What's up, Girth Gang? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm on NHL 22, and I'm gonna be having the biggest and best players go up against the shortest and worst players possible. If you've seen my NHL videos in the past, you already know I'm gonna be handing out more injuries than the Travis Scott concert. It took me a while to build these rosters, but I ended up putting the 99 overall players on the Alabama Cousin Lovers, and the zero overall players are gonna be on the Flint Short Kings. For the Cousin Lovers, I made the mascot reflect what Alabama is all about. This is Captain Inbred. He's a face of the franchise. On the Cousin Lovers, roster, I modeled my players after really big and really good fighters. I did slip Tanya Harding into the mix because she is probably the biggest gangster to ever step foot on the ice. Then I've got guys like Francis Ngannou, Tyson Fury, Johnny Sins, Mike Tyson, Ray Rice, Aaron Hernandez, all the players you'd be expecting. For the Short Kings mascot, I went with this little goblin troll looking thing. For their roster, I made their players the Short Kings of real life, but they're also probably going to be shaken out there on the ice. So at Team Captain, we got Michael J. Fox. My Discord insisted that I use Danny DeVito. The rest of the list is all over the the place but they're all short and that's all that matters you've got villains such as jose altuve on the team but we also got heroes such as Mahatma gandhi and beetlejuice i tried starting the game from the play now tab but the game kept crashing it took me an entire day to make these rosters and teams so i was already contemplating throwing my pc into a tub full of water and then hopping in with it but i figured out they'd still let me play with these teams if i went into a playoff mode i put them in the stanley cup final and i also turned down the frequency of penalties to the minimum in my opinion penalties kind of ran the sport i'm here for the brain damage i started off the game by being inactive just to see if my computers will be aggressive and take out players and sure enough they do for most of the game i just locked onto the controls of one player it was still ridiculously easy for the cousin lovers to score so i just ended up maxing out the opposing goalie's attributes but we were still able to score pretty easily because my guys were out there playing tackle football and my opponents were still trying to figure out the concept of skating i don't know what happened to my fans in the arena but it looks like i messed something up most of them look like they dressed up for a mental hospital it reminds me a lot of this scene <laughs> My aggressiveness seemed to be rubbing off on my computers. I wasn't able to hit somebody after the whistle blew, but every other computer on the screen was bullying somebody else. I did everything wrong on this face-off. I ended up taking out one of my players, yet we score on a 1v3 and another man ends up doing the split, so I wasn't able to get many fights even though I said everybody's fighting tendency too often. Probably has to do something with the fact that my fighting skill is set to 99 and their fighting skill is set to the minimum, although I do know about the trick that you can go into goalie mode and start a fight with the other goalie. My first attempt they ended up scoring but I think we'll be fine it's one to five and we're three minutes into the first period but by the next play I was able to get Mike Tyson into a fight with Jack Black it took me a few seconds to get his health bar pretty low so I decided to let him get a couple hits in I'm not an animal I ended it with a right hook and I had to just get a second look at that to see the size difference Tyson's hand is about half the size of this guy's head we got a referee over here trying to look like he's doing his job but let's be honest this wasn't a fair fight to begin with on this play something happened off screen but I was aware of it because it sounded like a gunshot Nothing to be too concerned about, it's just E.T. getting his head taken off. That was the first helmet that came off in the game, but it was definitely not the last. Later on, I was trying to get Mike Tyson into a fight. He had a craven for ear, but he just ended up standing here awkwardly in the middle of the ice. I even made my game plan as passive as possible, which led to them having the puck on our side of the ice. They didn't end up scoring somehow without us having a goalie. I tried taking out people with our goalie, but it didn't work. I can bump into them, but I can't take them out like the other players can. So I decided to pull the goalie because we really don't need it. And then I figured out I can have the puck in my control and still lay out people. They really couldn't take the puck away from me. And all this chaos led to a cuddle session in the back of the net, but I was pretty certain I saw somebody's face getting a mouthful of cousin lover cock. And who would that be? None other than Kanye West getting a mouthful of John Jones bone who coincidentally is the player that ended up with 69 after I tried giving them all that number. On the top right of the screen, we got a textbook sandwich going on. I got a second look at that and I got to classify it as an Eiffel Tower. That is a white version of Too Short getting plowed by 269 men. Pretty hot stuff. I still had the goalie pulled, so I decided I'm going to try to score on my own net. It took me a couple tries, but I got it in. I guess credit goes to whoever touched it last, so shout out to Alexander the Great. This play is dead, but it doesn't matter to my team. We are going to take advantage of these grown men. All while the refs are watching just not doing their job. I, I love it. We got a little highlight of Tanya Harding doing her thing minus the leg breaking. Now I know I leave my Xbox gamer tag in my videos, but if you guys think that gives you the right to come on to me in the middle of my recording and you're going to assume that I'm going to flirt with another grown man over Xbox, then post those flirtatious messages in my YouTube video for the promise of sexual favors in a dark alley, you are greatly mistaken and I for one will not stand for it. But in other news, I got a date coming up. Wish me luck, but pray for his butt.
But apparently I can be a forceful active recruit for the Special Olympics hockey team. But the moment I start spamming Y trying to start a fight, I guess I get in trouble. Shut up. Tick, tick. Now I got this one. Get your bitch ass out of here. Aha, uh -huh, you trash. Hey, you can blow a kiss on these nuts, bitch. Pause. Trying to start a fight gets you put in a penalty box, but intentionally elbowing somebody in the chin, perfectly fine. But considering we were up 2 to 19, I didn't mind going 3v5 against these guys. I also tried putting more than three guys into the timeout penalty box, whatever the fuck, I don't, I don't know. But I think in the NHL, at least in the game, they want you to have a certain amount of players out there at a minimum. And even while it was a 3v5, the goalie was too scared to come out and fight Mike Tyson. Here I'm freaking out the game. There's so much violence going on on the screen that they don't know where to look. I just ended up trying to double team this poor bastard that was getting forced into the corner. My strategy on the face off just developed into me not trying to get the puck at all, but just to go after the first man I saw. One of the most satisfying things to do in this game is to track somebody down and hit them while they are coming up the ice. Although I do enjoy hitting a man after they're just barely crawling up. I almost took out the ref here, really wish that was an option. I settled for just taking out two people, but the faces of my players are really starting to creep me out. I'm out here creating future murderers and it's not even because of the CTE. On this play, I gave them three goalies there are three guys protecting the net and we still end up scoring with george st pierre for once tanya harding isn't being given attention for violence love this play because you're not supposed to be able to hurt the goalie in this game but i think we did it twice i knocked him down and then whoever scored just kicked him with a skate i'm surprised i haven't done this more often but taking out the net is a fun thing to do and you can also get into contact with the goalie for instance we got tyson fury dragging his nuts through this guy's head this is what hockey's all about nancy kerrigan on the other team decided to score a goal here which is a bold move i mean they're down 24 not a big deal but there is another lady on the other side of the ice who is gonna have a problem with that when i first made this video i did not think i would be ripping into a 30 year old tragedy but you know sometimes things just work out like that the other team still had a power play here so i saw a perfect opportunity to just completely bully one of these players out here this might have been my favorite hit of the entire video i just slammed this person's head into the bar and i wasn't done with him i took him around the whole rink i I even subbed him out mid attack and had another guy tag in and take him out again. I figured out this poor soul was Marky Mark, but I'm just treating him like how he treated the Vietnamese in 1988. Uh, again, 30 year old reference, but uh, look it up kids. I was planning on taking him around full circle, but thankfully for him, we scored and we let him off easy. I think this replay right here really just embodies the entire game of this video. We're on offense, but of course we're shoving people out of the way. We forgot about the puck, so we had to go get that. We scored easily. Somebody just comes in, tosses somebody for no reason. And of course we're not done. We just throw the net in a circle. Have fun picking that up. The ref's already calling something on me. I'm completely off sides, but what a great hit here. I think even while I was recording, I went AFK for a second because I was laughing over this hit. All it took was one shoulder and this guy goes airborne, probably breaks an elbow, a wrist, dislocated shoulder, everything. Honestly, I love NHL and what they're doing in video games. Out of all sports video games, they probably have the lowest budget, but time and time again, they release the best games and consistently have the best video game physics. Now, I still don't understand why the ref is calling a travel on me. If one of you could explain it in the comments, I'd love to hear why, but this might deserve a penalty. Somehow I broke a player on the left side of the screen. He was just sitting over the puck having PTSD flashbacks and that seemed like a golden opportunity for me. And that wasn't the only beauty of this play. I ended up scoring while breaking my stick. I've never done this in a hockey game before. The fact that the game was prepared for a player to celebrate without his hockey stick is impressive to me. But we got nine minutes left in the last period. We have a 54 point lead, but that's not good enough for the cousin lovers. We're going to try to run up that scoreboard and I'm going to rely on almost completely off my computers because I am not good at this game. I'm only good at hurting people. I'm not exaggerating when I say that I scored more people into their net than pucks. It doesn't count for anything, but it sure would drain somebody's confidence in real life. DeMarcus Cousin Sr. was having himself a game at the end. He had two hat tricks and he punched the goalie in the chest. I like the creativity there, but it ended up being 71 to three. We can see the Stanley Cup coming out. We get a glimpse of Mike Tyson celebrating the win and then the game crashes. That's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, just in case you were wondering, if you search up Noose on the Xbox Game Store, it directs you to Rock Band 4. So before you consider suicide, consider Rock Band. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one.